So to show you how Z-Axis can provide seamless integration between your business and your trading partner, we've chosen this example. Your trading partner in this instance is Crossdocs. They provide outsourced warehousing solutions to businesses and are a systems integration partner with Z-Axis. So let's say your purchasing department decide to purchase some goods. They'll create a purchase order within QuickBooks or MYOB. Then Crossdocs will be ready to receive those goods into their dock. Your suppliers deliver those in and Crossdocs will unload and place them within the warehouse, scanning them as they go. At the same time, their system will create a receive goods note, which will then be electronically sent from their system and imported into QuickBooks and MYOB. So that provides you an up to minute picture of what purchase orders are open, what have been delivered, and whether the goods are actually in stock. On the sales side, your customers will place orders. You then can create a sales order in QuickBooks or MYOB. That order is then transmitted electronically and received within the Crossdoc system. They can then pick the order, pack it. The goods are then shipped. This will trigger a notification that the goods have been, will create an invoice, will then be transmitted electronically and imported into MYOB in QuickBooks. Finally, to cater for any wastages or stock takes, we have built the ability to create a stock adjustment, which can then be sent from the Crossdoc system electronically and imported into QuickBooks and MYOB. So that provides you an up to minute picture of what purchase orders are open and have been delivered and what sales orders have been dispatched and gives you an idea of what stock you have in hand at any one point. So let's send some purchases from MYOB to a trading partner. So what I'll do is I'll use some orders, purchase orders that we've created before. There's three of them here. So they're numbers 9, 10 and 11. So once we set them in MYOB, we switch through to Z-axis and let's just connect to the MYOB company file. So first we'll need to get those orders from MYOB. So we'll select purchase order and we select numbers nine to 11 and we fetch them from MYOB. We select the export format. In this instance, it's the EDI outbox and we press OK. The orders are then formatted it into the, so we select from our address book, particular trading partner that we want to send it to. And we press send and the goods are then sent electronically to that email address. Once they're received on that side, they're automatically uploaded into the trading partners cross docs system. We can see that by going back into the EDI module and we can receive, we can see in the outbox what's been dispatched. And I'll switch back into the inbox and we can check whether there are any new mail messages that we should be receiving from our paid trading partner. So that's complete. We can go back into the inbox and now we can select. So here we are, some received goods have come in. We can right click and select add to MYOB.